Welcome back to Coffee Break English. Lovely learners. Today on Tales for English Fluency, we're conquering a common challenge asking for help. Absolutely, Emma. Whether it's a household chore or a work task, knowing how to politely request assistance can make a big difference. And before we dive into helpful phrases, let's share some personal experiences. Anna, have you ever been in a situation where you needed to ask for help but felt hesitant? Definitely, Emma. Just last week, I was trying to assemble a new bookshelf, and the instructions were, well, let's just say they weren't very clear. I spent a good hour struggling and finally realized I needed some assistance. Oh no, so what did you do? Well, I gathered my courage and called my brother, who's pretty handy. I phrased it like this, Hey Alex, I'm a bit stuck putting together this bookshelf. Would you mind taking a look and see if you can lend a hand? That's a fantastic example, Anna. You clearly explained the situation and politely requested help. Exactly. And you know what? He was more than happy to help. It only took him a few minutes to figure out the instructions and get everything assembled. See, asking for help can save you time, frustration, and maybe even a trip to the furniture store for replacement parts. Now, let's explore some helpful phrases to use when asking for help. Would you mind? Polite request. I was wondering if you could. Indirect request. I'm a bit stuck with. Explain the situation. Do you have a minute to help me with? Ask for someone's time. I'd really appreciate it if you could. Express gratitude. These are all great options, Anna. It's also important to consider the context and your relationship with the person you're asking. For example, if you're asking a coworker for help, you might say, excuse me, Michael, would you mind taking a look at this report? I'm having some trouble with the formatting. On the other hand, if you're asking a family member for help with a chore, you might say, Hey, Oliver, I'm swamped with errands today. Would you mind picking up some milk at the store? But this episode isn't just about asking for help, Emma. It's also about offering help to others. Absolutely. Here are some phrases you can use. Is there anything I can help you with? General offer. Do you need a hand with? Specific offer. Let me know if you need anything. Open-ended offer. I'd be happy to help out with. Enthusiastic offer. Offering help shows that you're a team player and willing to support others. It can also strengthen relationships and create a more positive work or home environment. Let's continue with another example. Imagine you're at the gym and see someone struggling with a weightlifting exercise. You could say, hey there, it looks like you're lifting that weight with a bit of difficulty. Do you need a spotter? Now, Emma, let's put these phrases into practice with a quick role play activity. Sounds fun, Anna. So how about we act out a scenario where roommates are sharing household chores? Great idea. I'll be the roommate who needs help and you can be the helpful one. Okay, perfect. So, Anna, what chore are you struggling with? Ugh, the dishes are piling up and I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. Hey, Anna, no worries. Is there anything I can help you with? The dishes seem like they're taking over the sink. Oh, Emma, you're a lifesaver. Yeah, I was hoping to get them done before my friend comes over later, but I just haven't had the time. No problem at all. Do you want me to dry while you wash, or would you prefer I tackle the stack first? You're amazing. Let me handle the washing for now. I think drying would be a big help, though. Those plates can be tricky. Happy to help. We can knock these out in no time as a team. Maybe while we clean, we can chat about your friend's visit. Who's coming over? It's Lisa. We haven't seen each other in ages, so I'm really looking forward to catching up. That sounds like fun. Well, 
Well, let's get these dishes sparkling so you can enjoy your friend's company. Wow, Emma, you're a drying machine. Everything looks great. Thanks so much for your help. I really appreciate it. No problem at all, Anna. It was actually kind of relaxing to chat and clean together. Totally agree. Maybe we can make this a weekly thing, Team Dishes. Haha, <laughs> I like it. Team Dishes it is. Now, Emma, after someone helps you, it's important to express your gratitude. Here are some ways to say thank you. Thanks so much for your help. Simple and sincere. I really appreciate you lending a hand. More formal, you're a lifesaver. Informal and expressive, I couldn't have done it without you. Shows appreciation for their contribution. And remember, you can also offer to return the favor in the future. Exactly. Building a culture of helping each other goes a long way in any relationship. All right, listeners. We'd love for you to participate. Think about a time when you asked for help or offered help to someone. What phrases did you use? Leave a comment below and share your experiences. Well, Emma, that was a jam-packed episode on asking for help and offering assistance. Absolutely, Anna. By using these helpful phrases and being willing to lend a hand, you can create a more supportive and positive environment at home, work, and in your social life. Don't forget to subscribe to Coffee Break English for daily English learning content. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Thanks for joining us today, lovely learners. Happy helping and happy learning. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Coffee Break English. Remember, lovely learners, asking for help isn't a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength and collaboration. So next time you need a hand, don't hesitate to reach out. And don't forget the power of offering help to others. A small gesture of assistance can go a long way in building strong relationships. We hope this episode empowered you to navigate the world of asking for and offering help with confidence. Keep practicing your English skills, and remember, we're always here to cheer you on. Take care, everyone, and have a wonderful week filled with teamwork and support. Bye for now.